today's the day. Getting back on the bike. Well, purchasing a bike today. We gotta get it. To see if it's worth purchasing. Got a sweet new Dainese jacket that we just bought this weekend. <laughs> that's, my, that's my noise that I make. How do you like that one? I love it. Punch it, I can take it. <laughs> they almost look orange. You're right. We're jelly jello. Thanks for the help, homie. I'm glad she liked the jacket. She's wearing it in a car. <laughs> Bye, Alex. Another dude. Oh, Robert. Take money, take money. Why don't you tell them what kind of bike you're getting? I'm looking at a Honda CBR 600 RR. We're gonna try it over here instead. It's hard because I live downtown, so it's never a good thing to live downtown and learn to ride. And since it's been a few months since she's ridden, she's just gonna get her bearings back on the flat instead. That way you don't have to worry about giving it extra throttle or going up the hill, stalling out, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Had to do it. Had to do it. Had to do it. <laughs> Had to do it one time. Dude, that thing pops up like a motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> What's up, dude? There she is. <laughs> Look at the clutch. Oh, shit. Yeah. I already wheelied it. <laughs> so this bike is beautiful. I'm gonna give you a rundown of everything it's got. It's got uh, the Scott uh, stabilizer. It's got a gear indicator, which is really cool. It's got these uh, little Bikes, which match the devil horns on our helmet. We got these little carbon fiber accents right here on the tail lights as well. This custom paint job. Got the little tank pad here. It says CBR looking like carbon. And then we've also got these little carbon accents right here on the uh, triple tree. You got a light out, bro. And then I think the coolest part of this bike is that exposed clutch. Almost like, get your ass out the way, Ed. Is the exposed clutch almost like the Ducatis right here that's really cool you can kind of see everything all the internals and whatnot and then this custom paint job it's like almost like a Ducati red it's really bright so that's cool you got these flush mount light uh, blinkers as well tires are practically brand new well the front is uh, it's got this uh, black Mud guard as well. It's got a Yoshimura license plate holder, but not a Yoshi pipe. We'll change that soon. Uh, I think this is actually a smoked tail light as well. It's a uh, not a clear one. I think looking at the side, but I need to see it without the light to be sure. This dude John is a really cool guy. We're gonna end up riding with him in the future vlogs coming up. We got Anthony out here, of course, on my last video. He just hit his uh, our last couple videos. He just hit his uh, first track day two weeks ago. He was able to get knee down on both sides. And uh, Babe has this sweet new jacket that I bought her last weekend. So she's 100% ready to start riding. And it's going to take it for a spin real quick. Like, 
No, my bike's still in the shop with a busted radiator. Yeah, she just she's buying the CBR right now. She's doing the title paperwork. So you guys tell me, do you guys have girlfriends that ride or wives that ride? Uh, how do you guys feel if your girlfriend or wife started riding? For me, uh, it's awesome, but it is one of those bittersweet things. Uh, I definitely find myself being worried about her every time she takes off and goes riding. Um, it gives me a way more respect for her, uh, and I every time I go and ride, I think a little bit more because now I understand how she feels when she goes when I go out. And she knows I'm going out there speeding, I'm going to be doing wheelies, I'm going to be, even if I'm not doing anything kind of reckless or whatever, she knows that I'm out there in a situation where I can get cut off at 25 miles an hour and die. Versus in a car, you'd be okay. And now that she does the same thing, I, I, I understand where she's coming from, it's changed the way I ride a little bit. But it's definitely one of those things where if you and your significant other or whatever have that biking bond in common it's some it's just completely something else it, it adds so much more to your uh, relationship <laughs> security guard thought like there was a crash no like I was saying when you guys have that bond it's just it makes everything that much better. It's really cool to be able to be chilling at home, like sitting on the couch together and be like, oh babe, look at this biker post you're looking at on Instagram and they're actually into it. We're definitely gonna be bringing dual vlogs like six for Honda and uh, no, I can't think of anyone else, at least off the top of my head. Do it with Dan, obviously, uh, him and Laura. I'm super stoked that she's got this bike now. I'm going to take it for a small ride with Anthony. Just because she's not 100% uh, confident. She wants a day where she could practice a little more at a parking lot. She was doing really good before we, uh, before she had her accident. But now it's been like two months and she's had a little bit of PTSD from it. So, uh, I don't blame her not wanting to ride around downtown during rush hour. It's, it's not fun. definitely a lot lighter than my R1 but obviously that's to be expected I'm just used to even the R6 it was a little bit thicker of a like wider of a bike and the R1 just feels like a big R6 so the slim body style of the uh, CBR is interesting I tried to wheel it earlier and it's like super torquey as well Definitely not as grunty as my uh, R6 is.